Do you fear the future? Is the uncertainty of what's to come making you anxious? These feelings are more common than you might think, and they can affect our personal growth and overall well-being. But here's a comforting thought. It's entirely possible to overcome this fear. Our journey today starts with acknowledging this fear before embarking on a voyage to conquer it. We'll explore various strategies from identifying your specific fears, focusing on the present, to setting achievable goals. We'll also delve into the importance of planning, building resilience, challenging negative thoughts, and seeking support. We'll learn to embrace change, educate ourselves, and practice self-compassion. Each of these strategies is like a stepping stone, leading us towards a future where fear no longer holds us back. Fear of the future can be daunting, but it's not insurmountable. Let's delve into some strategies that may help. So buckle up and join us on this transformative journey towards a fearless future. The first step to overcoming fear of the future is identifying your specific fears. It's easy to let a vague sense of dread cloud our thoughts about what's to come. But when we take a moment to really delve into what's causing this unease, we often find that it's not the future as a whole that scares us, but specific aspects of it. Perhaps it's the fear of losing loved ones, or of not achieving our goals, or even of facing potential health issues. Whatever it may be, pinpointing these fears is crucial. By understanding exactly what we're afraid of, we can begin to address these concerns more effectively. We can start to devise strategies and solutions tailored to these individual fears, rather than wasting energy on a nebulous worry about the unknown. So take some time to really think about what's causing your fear of the future. Knowing what scares you about the future is the first step towards conquering those fears. Instead of worrying about what might happen, bring your attention to the present. This is where the practice of mindfulness comes into play. Mindfulness is about fully engaging with the here and now. It's about paying attention to your current surroundings, thoughts and feelings without judgment. This can be a powerful tool to combat fear of the future. The beauty of mindfulness is that it allows you to realize that the future, with all its uncertainties, doesn't exist yet. What truly exists is this very moment. It's in this moment that you can take steps to improve your situation, to grow, and to shape the future you desire. You see, by focusing on the present, you're not ignoring the future. Rather, you're actively participating in its creation. Each action you take, every decision you make, forms a brick in the pathway to your future. So breathe in the present and exhale the anxieties of tomorrow. Remember, the present moment is where you have the power to affect change. Setting realistic and achievable goals can make the future seem less overwhelming. Imagine you're standing at the base of a mountain. The peak seems impossibly far away, but instead of focusing on that distant summit, you map out a path, marking smaller hills to conquer along the way. That's how you approach long-term goals. Break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. This makes the future not only more attainable, but it also gives you a clear sense of direction. Take the example of wanting to write a book. Instead of being daunted by the end goal of a finished novel, break it down. Set a goal to write a certain number of words each day or to finish a chapter each week. Each small victory brings you closer to your ultimate goal and reduces the fear of the future. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither are your dreams. Small steps lead to big changes. Start with achievable goals. A clear plan for your future can provide a sense of direction and control. This is where our journey takes us next. The act of planning is not about predicting every twist and turn that life may throw your way. Instead, it's about equipping yourself with a roadmap that can guide your steps, even when the road gets bumpy. You see, when you have a plan, you have a course of action. This plan doesn't have to be set in stone, it can be flexible, allowing for change and adaptation. It's your personal roadmap where the destination is your long-term goal, and the route consists of the smaller, manageable tasks you've set for yourself. This roadmap not only provides direction, but also gives you control over your journey, reducing the anxiety of the unknown. But here's the thing, even the best laid plans may face challenges. This is where resilience comes into play. Resilience is your ability to cope with these challenges, to weather the storms that may come your way. It's about understanding that setbacks are a natural part of life and learning to bounce back from them. Resilience is not something you're born with, but a skill you can cultivate. It's about developing coping mechanisms that work for you, whether that's deep breathing exercises, meditation, physical activity, or just talking things out with a trusted friend. Resilience is also about nurturing a positive mindset, 
one that sees setbacks not as insurmountable obstacles, but as temporary hurdles on the road to your goals. So how do you build resilience? Start by acknowledging your feelings when you face a setback. It's okay to feel upset, disappointed, even angry. These emotions are part of being human, but don't dwell on them. Instead, use them as a catalyst for action. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I use this to grow and move forward? Remember, resilience is not about avoiding challenges, but about learning how to deal with them effectively. It's about standing tall in the face of adversity, knowing that you have the strength and the skills to overcome it. With a plan in hand and resilience in your heart, the future is less intimidating. So go ahead, plan your route, build your resilience, and embrace your journey to the future with confidence. Negative and catastrophic thoughts about the future can add to your fear. This is a fact that many of us can attest to. But here's the good news. You have the power to challenge these thoughts, to dissect them, and ultimately, to change them. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, offers techniques that can be highly effective in this process. The principle behind CBT is that our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are interconnected. Therefore, by changing our thoughts, we can directly influence our feelings and behaviors. When you find yourself harboring negative thoughts about the future, try to examine them. Ask yourself, are these fears based on realistic expectations, or are they exaggerated? Often, you'll find that your mind has taken a small possibility and blown it out of proportion. A helpful CBT technique is the thought record. This involves writing down your negative thought, identifying the emotions it elicits, and then challenging its validity. You might realize that your thought is not a fact, but an assumption. You can then reframe this thought into something more positive and realistic. This process can help you gain control over your thoughts and subsequently, your fears. But remember, it's not just about challenging negative thoughts, it's also about seeking support. We all need a sounding board, a shoulder to lean on. Talking to friends, family, or a mental health professional about your fears can be incredibly beneficial. Sharing your concerns can provide emotional support, and it often brings different perspectives. You might find that what you've been worrying about isn't as intimidating when you discuss it with others. More importantly, it reminds you that you're not alone in your fears. There's a strength in vulnerability, in reaching out to others. It's a testament to your resilience. And remember, it's okay to seek professional help if your fears become overwhelming. A therapist or counselor can provide additional support and guidance, helping you navigate through your fears and towards a more positive future. Remember, you're not alone. Seek support and challenge those negative thoughts. Because ultimately, the future is not something to fear, but a journey to embark on with courage, resilience, and optimism. Change is a constant part of life, and sometimes fear of the future is rooted in uncertainty. It's like stepping into a dark room, not knowing what lies ahead. But consider this, what if that room is not filled with monsters, but opportunities for growth and new experiences? Embracing change allows us to evolve, to learn, and to thrive. It's not about eliminating uncertainty, but about seeing it as a chance to write a new chapter in our life story. This doesn't mean we blindly walk into the unknown. It means we equip ourselves with the flashlight of knowledge. Educating ourselves about potential challenges and opportunities empowers us to make informed decisions. It's about understanding the landscape of the future, spotting the pitfalls, and knowing where the treasure lies. The more we know, the less we fear. So, let's welcome change with open arms. Let's learn, grow, and prepare. Embrace change and arm yourself with knowledge. The future is less scary when you understand what might come. Lastly, be kind to yourself. When it comes to overcoming the fear of the future, self-compassion is paramount. We often forget to extend the same compassion to ourselves that we offer to others. But remember, it's not only about understanding our fears and anxieties, but also about treating ourselves with kindness when they arise. When you feel apprehensive about the future, don't be too hard on yourself. It's completely human to feel this way. Instead, acknowledge these feelings, embrace them, and remind yourself that it's perfectly okay to be anxious. You are not alone in this journey. Self-compassion is about being your own ally. It's about letting go of self-judgment and embracing self-kindness. It's about understanding that everyone has their own set of fears and uncertainties. The next time you find yourself worried about the future, pause for a moment, take a deep breath, and treat yourself with a little tenderness. Remember, everyone has fears and uncertainties. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion. Overcoming fear of the future isn't easy, but it's possible.
we've explored a wealth of strategies that can guide you on this journey. Identifying your specific fears and focusing on the present can create a solid foundation for your efforts. Setting realistic goals and developing a clear plan can provide direction and reduce anxiety. Building resilience and challenging negative thoughts can foster a healthier mindset, while seeking support can offer fresh perspectives and emotional comfort. Remember, you have the power to control certain aspects of your life, so focus on those. Celebrate your achievements no matter how small they are, and embrace change as an opportunity for growth. Knowledge is power, so educate yourself about potential future challenges and opportunities. Practice self-compassion, be kind to yourself, and understand that it's okay to feel anxious. If your fear of the future significantly impacts your daily life and well-being, don't hesitate to seek professional help. You have the power to face your fears and embrace your future. Start today.